to San Antonio Living. Our next guest has cooked for just about everyone under the planet. And he, he picked up some musical skills along the way. This is Chef Johnny Chow. Thank you so much for coming today. Nice to see you. Yay! How do you, how do you, you do this whole harmonica thing and cooking? I've been playing this thing since really? I was a little kid. Which came first, the cooking the or harmonica. the harmonica? Okay. And then what happened after many years of being in management behind the scenes with many celebrities, I cooked for them. So if I were managing you, Shelly, yeah. I would have come to your home on the weekend and cooked for you and your family. I, I would love, I wish I was a celebrity, And that's the way it happened. <laughs> but a little toast to you with a little tropical rhythm. Hey. And uh, what I'm going to do today is... Mm. That's How's good. A little hint oh of coconut, gosh. all natural, 100% delicious. natural fruit juice, no sugar fructose added. Delicious. And this is what you like to cook with. I the, started the cool off with juices, right? Let me show you this simple recipe. It's great for kids, too. It's very delicious. I started cooking with juice when I was summoned to Neverland Valley to help really? Michael back to health. Okay. Because Michael did not drink alcohol. And so I started doing juice dishes there. And this juice dish, well, I had to buy many different juices. Mm -hmm. The problem was th there was no cool juice. I had to buy uh, orange juice, pineapple juice, mix and mix it them. Up. So now I found the cool juice and I'm able to use one flavor, which has six, the tropical rhythms has six different 100% natural juices. So what do you have? You've got some started, tropical rhythm in the pan. I started off with a quarter of a, uh, about a tablespoon of butter. Okay. Or you can use a little olive oil if you like. Okay. Then I added, um, then what I want to add is just a little bit of crystallized ginger or garlic, either Ooh. or. Now, crystallized ginger is a ginger coated in sugar. Okay. Right? And then what I do is add the cool juice, about half a cup. That's going to give a really good flavor because I can tell just from taking a little sip of it. You can then start adding whatever you have in your cupboard. Okay. You don't have to follow this recipe. A little bit of granulated onion powder. Ooh. I put some dried cilantro because I want to reduce it, so I want that flavor to come together there. Okay. And then I'll add just a little bit of fresh mint, chopped mint, Yum. okay? You can also add a little cumin if you want to cheat. I know it doesn't call for the recipe that may be seen, you may be seeing on the screen. But basically whatever you want. Whatever you want okay. in there. Let it reduce down on a high flame, right? Okay. Once it reduces down in half, we're going to add the shrimp, you can Yum. add scallops, you can add catfish, and just let it cook for about another two minutes. We'll let that simmer down a little bit. Meanwhile, we got to talk a little bit about your books, because since you're in Texas today, we got to talk about the first cookbook ever, which was a cookbook that you did featuring country music's best, huh? Over 36 country music stars. It was actually the best-selling cookbook of its time. This is pre-Emerald, pre-Paula Dean, pre-all these big celebrity chefs. And uh, the recipes were from Hank Jr. Oak oh, Ridge wow. Boys. I heard the Oak Ridge yeah, Boys. Yeah. I have the Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge Boys pretzel salad in Very there. Very nice. So there are many, many great dishes in there. And that book sold over 1 million copies. And 25% of the proceeds went to the Country Music Foundation in Nashville. Do you have any interesting Willie Nelson stories oh, for I'll tell you, I did, we the, love him. I did the picnic one year for <laughs> Willie. You did? What a blast wow. I had. We, I, I thought I was going to be cool. Right? I flew a helicopter in. I rented a helicopter. Meanwhile, we had to park it a mile away because everyone else rented a helicopter. So here I was tra traveling in with camera crews and food. And when I got to the picnic, I, I was introduced to Willie in his trailer. Willie was sitting there with Waylon Jennings wow. and Merle Haggard. And here I walk in, a New York boy like me, I almost fainted. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I had a blast there with those guys. And I created my Willie Nelson Texas stew, which is in my book, Concert Kitchen. Okay. And it, what it is, is a traditional European pasta fagiole, Ooh, yeah. which is basically beans, Right? Yeah. With, with some, some pasta. pasta. Yeah. But I did it with prawns that Bobby Bear flew in. Ooh. And we made this prawn stew with fresh vegetables, jalapenos. I made, they gave it that Texas oh twist. And it was delicious. So now what we have is a, a reduced... Got our little sauce that's reduced down a little bit. And we're going to add the shrimp. Okay. okay? And what, what do, you, do you... Can you put any kind of fish into this dish? Any kind of okay. fish. I mean, the shrimp is it's going to be a nice, delicious flavor. I have catfish here. We can add it as well. This way we have... Uh, two different tastes. And Get then, it all in the same pot. I like that. Right. It's simple to do. The juice reduction is healthy. It's delicious. Okay. I mean, Cool Juice got the fruit punch. It has a, the man, we have the mango grove, which is an, an incredible flavor of mango. Like I said, 100% fruit juice. And tonight I'm going to be uh, showing you. You're H-E-B. H-E-B. Yes, I this want is you to come cool. out. I have free cookbooks for whoever comes John's, out. Really? And tells me they were on this show. I 
love tells that. Tells me they saw me. Okay, all you have to do is say you saw Johnny on San Antonio Living. You're going to get a line out there. Be very careful. And give him a big hug and stuff. And ask him about the next cookbook because this is what we've got out right now. And this has got more great recipes from more stars. I, mean, I think it's what a life you've had. Just it's touring been quite the country, interesting. cooking for people, including Michael Jackson. What was that like? Well, that was interesting because what happened was he had collapsed on stage in Singapore. Yeah. And uh, they was asked to come in. I was cooking for Carlos Santana and the Grateful Dead and Huey Lewis at the time in the Bay Area doing parties. And, and when I say cooking for them, I was doing one-on-one -on -one in their home. It wasn't oh. like, you know, I was doing, I don't cater or anything, mm -hmm. uh, uh, anything affiliated or close to that. I basically come to your home and create healthy food. And uh, so I was asked to come in and help Michael after he collapsed on stage in Singapore. And it was an incredible experience. He was so kind. He was gracious. He was always very friendly. And uh, from, I met quite a bit of people there. I met Whitney Houston. I, I met imagine. Barry Gordy, I, uh, Marlon Brando, who I wound wow. up going to cook for in Los Angeles. And then once in L.A., I started doing food for people like Dick Clark and, and Whitney Houston and many, many others. Man, I'll tell you what. You've got some great stories. You can find out more about the stories by checking out the cookbooks. And Johnny's going to be at HEB today. You can stop by. He's going to be doing some cooking demos at the HEB on Babcock at 5 p.m. If you'd like to find out more information about the juices that he likes to cook with, it's cooljuice.com for information and recipes. And, of course, if you'd like more information on Johnny, and his cookbooks, go to johnnychow.com. It's Got right it. there on your screen. All right. Oh, that looks good. How about a taste? I know. I'm going to feel like I'm on a Caribbean on. vacation. I'll serenade you. Okay, guys, don't go away because we're going to tell you all about the Moody Gardens where you can take a vacation. Coming up next. Mm. Oh, good.